All right, so I got a couple of these Samsung wireless charging pods. This one happens to be the EP-PG920i. And it just stopped working. And I think it's the little micro USB connector in here because these things can pull up to two amps. Yep, they're rated right at two amps. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and remove that micro USB connector and just solder a cable in place so I don't have connection issues because I believe that's what's going on. So to get this thing apart, this is an adhesive ring. Just go ahead and pull it off, set it aside, and then four screws. Now pay attention to the orientation. The G in Samsung is closest to the micro USB jack. So the top just simply lifts off. There you can see the wireless charging coil. When you reassemble this, you wanna make sure you have this in the correct orientation because the little coil actually sets in a relief in this plastic piece. So you can actually pick this up and slide it through the middle just like that. Now the circuit board just unclips out of here. And so there's what we're interested in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and attach the cable to this bypass capacitor right here. So I need to remove this micro USB jack completely off of the board. I'm just gonna use hot air to remove it. Uh, you can probably flood it with solder and just lift it off the board if you wanted to. As you can see, I've had problems in this one in the past. I've already resoldered the connections on this and it did last probably six months to a year but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this completely off the board. So I'm just gonna get the hot air rework station, which I have set to, I think it's about 750 degrees. And I'm just gonna heat this up. It shouldn't take more than probably 20 or 30 seconds to remove. Yes, I have it set at 754 degrees. There it's off the board. Just that easy. So there's the pocket that the micro USB jack resides in. And if you look closely, you can see it's actually melted from the heat. So now to get this cable through here, what I'm gonna do is just simply slice this back open right here so I can fit the cable in here because this actually contacts the circuit board. But yeah, you can certainly see where it's been hot over time, so I'm just gonna get a pair of cutters. Hopefully you can see it on the camera there. And I'm just gonna do that because now I have a little pass through. I can run the cable through quite easily. Now the cable that I'm gonna use, I got from the dollar store. $1 USB-C cable. I really don't care about the other end. I'm just going to lop it off and we'll solder the leads right onto it. There it is. There's the barcode, the SKU, if you ever need it. But yeah, I got this from the dollar, I think it's just called Dollar Tree here in California. So let's go ahead and get it out of the package. And I only want this to be just over a foot long. So there's the actual amount that we'll be using. I'm just gonna cut it off right here. Just like that. I'm only gonna use the red and the black so we can cut off the green and the white wires completely. Strip those back just like that.
Go ahead and get them tinned up, ready to go. That looks good. Next, I'll just pass them through here. Sometimes easier said than done. All right, they're through. So this side that I'm tinning right here is the positive side. This side is the ground side. All right, that looks good. So now remember the circuit board was flipped around the other direction. Snap it back into place. Run the transformer back up through it. Make sure it is centered in the little cutout, just like that. Remember the G goes closest to the charging port. All right, well there it is. A nice short little cable, it's about a foot long. So let's go ahead and power it up and see if it's gonna work. I got my three colors. Let me shut the lights off. We'll do so let me grab a phone, we'll set it on there and make sure it charges. It does say it is charging. So it is charging at 970 milliamps, now one amp, 1.1, and climbing, 1.2. It should actually get up close to two amps. So we topped out at 1.32 amps, 1.33. So anyhow, I think that's gonna be good. The repair on the Samsung wireless charging pod. I certainly hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and respond when I have time. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me norcal715videos at gmail.com. Everybody, thank you for making it to the end of this quick little video. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.